Welcome back to Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. We are trying to foul Azathoth's plans, or the cultists, I guess. I don't know if we're doing a good job or not. Um, and now I'm looking at this one, I wonder, because it says spawn at a street nearest the leader, but it also said the card to spawn right here at the Black Cave. So I'm going to leave it at the Black Cave. I, I don't know. I think the cards overrule what's written on the monster cards. I could be wrong. But anyway, I did that once before as well in the episode long ago in this series as well. So I'm going to, I'm just going to rule it like that. Maybe it's in the rule book. I'd have to do some searching. All right, let's continue. We have two actions. We are in real trouble. Um, yeah, real, real trouble. We're going to start with Mark. We've got anomalies all over the place now. And we've got four over on our card, four Doom Tokens on the card. When we get seven, bad stuff's going to happen. We still have to investigate the markers here, find the red one. Uh, we do know where the ritual site is now. It's at the Black Cave. But, wow, there's just lots going on. I don't even know what to do with Mark Harkin. Of course, he's delayed. So, the first thing he's going to do for his action, he's going to become undelayed. So, let's take a look at his player sheet and see what he does when he becomes Undelayed. All right, he's just motoring around the board basically, and he has his dogged ability. It says at the start of your turn, if you are delayed, you may focus a skill of your choice or remove one sanity. Well, he's already got one focus. His focus limit is one, so he can't focus anything. But he will be able to remove the sanity off of the card here. It says when you use your dogged ability, which he's using, this item recovers one sanity. Now, there's a question right there. Can he use his dogged ability? Because he cannot focus and he cannot um, recover a sanity. So I, I'm going to say he can. He's, it's just part of his action, I think. So we're going to take the one off of here. Again, little minutia in this game. Might be some weird stuff going on. All right, he has a clue. He's got four remnants. He's got a plus one to strength. And he's got a monster he could take out. He has one dollar. Let's get back to board for second action. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think for his second action, he is going to come down here. He's got so many remnants. If you look here, it's remnants is for dollars and items and things. So he's going to spend his one dollar. Mm -hmm. And he's going to move three spaces. One, two, three, right here. And he has one man army, which means after you end your movement in a monster's space, you may become delayed to perform an attack action as an additional action. So, yeah, he's just bounced around the board becoming delayed uh so he's going to attack the cultist because if this cultist pops doom in here we're going to get an anomaly we're not going to get a chance to get the clues we need the clues to put on the sheet to remove them at the ritual site blah 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 as you know how it works all right one health for this guy mark has a strength he's got a modifier plus one now he's got five strength and he's packing the automatics we're going to be rolling <laughs> eight dice for mark to attack the cultist. All right, so eight dice. All he needs is one success. And he gets a whole bunch of them. He gets one, two, three. He gets three successes, way more than he needs to take out the lowly cultist. Boom, it's out of here, gone. But he's delayed again, and there's doom everywhere. All right, over to Agnes. Agnes has two actions. Oh boy, she's also, we're going to take a quick look at her sheet though, because she's in real dire straits, but I think she might want to take out this ritual, ritualistic cultist right now. All right, and as you can see, Agnes' sanity is hanging by a thread. She's got a sanity of six, she has five damage, she's got plus one observation, plus one to her strength, so uh, she can take out the cult. The thing is, if she, in, here's the problem, if she engages this cultist, all right, and she doesn't kill it, uh, it's going to give her a sanity loss. She's going to be in trouble. She's going to lose. She's going to be knocked out and go insane. And so, um, she does have a remnant, though. She could cast Storm of Spirits, spend her remnant instead of taking the sanity loss, and test Lore instead of Strength as part of an attack action. Or she can hang on to her remnant, because she has three Strength. I think she's just going to, first action, she's going to engage this guy, and she's going to try her very best to take him out with her three strength. Oh boy. Okay, so she's going to use her strength. She's rolling three dice. She's attacking this guy. No modifiers. One health. She's engaging him, which means if she doesn't take him out, she's toast. She's got a plus one strength modifier, plus one observation. 
So that's all good stuff. So she's going to be rolling three dice for her strength check against him to fight him. She's not the best fighter, but she could have used Storm of Spells, but she's not going to. She wants to save the remnant. All right, three dice attacking this guy. Let's see if she can get a success. Take him out of here. Oh, she gets two successes. That's twice as many as she needs. The ritualistic occultist dude is out of here. Knocked out. Good stuff. We have no cultists now on the board. We have actually no monsters on the board. She now has a second action. She's sitting here not able to do much. She might as well just move to the graveyard because there's the most doom here. So I think for her second action she'll move to the graveyard. And maybe during an encounter she'll be able to remove some doom. That's the hope and not go insane because if she takes one more sanity loss She's out of here. And here you, she can get money and remnants. So if she gets some money, then she can go over to the TikTok club and hopefully spend some of her money to get some sanity back. That's, uh, that's the hope. Because if she goes insane, we're going to lose that character. And that's not good. All right, I guess we're into the monster phase. And as you can see, all monsters have been wiped clean from the board. So that gets us right into the encounter phase. We're starting off with Mark. All right, Mark is here in the Mer Merchant District. There are two clues, two clues here. So let's hope that one of them, the River Docks, it is a clue card. It's not. Oh, man. All right, well, from the edge of the pier, you stare at the stars reflected in the water of the Miskatonic River. So we're testing our, his willpower. Well, he's got a will of four. So that's actually pretty darn good. So we're rolling four dice for him. Let's see if he can succeed. Come on, Mark. Oh yeah, a couple of sixes there. He nails it. He succeeds. Well, what does it say? If you pass, you feel a great sense of peace of being a part of the massive and eternal universe. Become blessed. All right, so Mark becomes blessed. And that's about it. It says if you fail, a bunch of other stuff. So Mark has become blessed. Very, very good stuff. We're not going to complain about that. So he becomes blessed. So fours, fives, and sixes are uh, successes. Now, after you fail a test, discard this card. Alrighty, Mark is blessed. Well, that was a good encounter for him. Sort of, I guess. We'll take it. I did do the right... Oh, I did the right card, right? Yeah, River Docks. Yes. Okay, just double-checking to make sure. Alright, over we go to Agnes for her encounter. Ay yay yay. Well, she has an anomaly encounter because she's in a location with an anomaly. She's in a location with two Doom. This could be really... Oh, good lord, that's not acceptably good. The Traveler looks just like you and claims to have come back in time to prevent you from making a terrible mistake. <laughs> willpower minus two. Well, her willpower is three minus two. She's rolling one die. The doppelganger is messing with her mind. Oh, come on. And succeed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she nails a five. She gets a five. She succeeds. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Because if you see her, if you fail, uh, you suffer too horror while well, she would go insane. But she passes. You avert the crisis. You remove three doom from your space and gain a remnant. Well, she doesn't have three doom in her space. She has two. So those go away. And she gets a remnant. Oh man, did she ever nail it. And a remnant for that too. So that is right on. Oh man. Okay, so the temporal fissure opened up. A doppelganger came in and she was just like, yeah, right. Nice try. And we only have one doom left here. And we can get rid of that anomaly. Oh my goodness, that was our encounter phase. Now it's the mythos phase where we pull the lovely tokens from the bag of doom. And starting with Mark, token number one for Mark is a newspaper clipping. Of course, because we love those things. They are just so delightful. All right, starstruck scientist stumped. The MU Observatory finds baffling stars not where they should be. Astrologers have the answers. Is it a global issue? Headline, for each spell you have, you suffer one horror unless you discard that spell. Well, luckily for Mark, he has no spells. Uh, he's got item curios, he has talents, he's got a first aid kit and encyclopedia, he's got all kinds of stuff, but you know what he doesn't have is a spell. So, ha ha, headline. 
that didn't do anything to him. All right, right all. That would have been very bad for uh, Agnes. But, all right, we're having Mark go second token. And oh, it's a freaking gate burster. Oh man. And the gate burster is going to happen on the top card. Oh, where in the heck is this? This is going to be night side or north side, which is here. Oh man. And so we have to put one token in every space. And the Arkham Advertiser, oh, this is going to get shuffled all in. So shuffle to the back. Oh, man. All right, so our train station is going to become the unstable location. We have to add one Doom to every location here. Oh, great. You know what that means. One here. One here. And boom, we have an anomaly. Yeehaw. <laughs> so we have an anomaly here. And we would be putting one Doom here, but guess what? You can't. So that Doom goes over on the Azathoth sheet, and it now has five. And when it gets to seven, really, really bad things are going to happen. Uh, yeah, when there is seven or more Doom on the scenario sheet, add cards eight and nine. Ay, yay. So we take the discard pile, we shuffle it, which means the uh, space is in the... Unstable space is now back to train station, which is the beginning. We shuffle these ones, put these at the bottom of the event deck. Uh, all right, Mark. Well, there you go. He had a headline that didn't do him much good. Now a gate burster. All right, Agnes. First token for her is going to be a monster. Oh, great. A monster is spawned somewhere. And we get oh, another one of these dudes. We just took one out. Spawn at nearest street to the leader. Our leader's here. The nearest street to the leader is right there. Okay. Oh, man. And he just spits doom out. Oh, goodness. That is awful. Mark's going to probably take him out again. And second token for Agnes is, oh, well, at least it's a blank. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's it for the tokens. How many are left in our bag now? We have four tokens left in the bag. <laughs> Do we even want to know what they are? All right, we're going to just readjust the camera, we're going to zoom out, and we're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, we're going to be wrapping up our episode for today. So, did we get a lot done? Oh, we took out some cultists, got rid of a lot of doom over here. We do have this guy now, he spits out, uh, I think it's one doom in an adjacent location. Place one doom on any, oh, any adjacent space. So, he either puts a doom here, which goes on the card, or he puts a doom... Well, he could put one here, and it wouldn't... Uh, whatever. It's all bad. <laughs> so... We have three clue tokens on the Azatoth sheet. We have five Doom tokens on there. If we can remove five at once from the sheet, which we have to research more of them, keeping in mind research is observation and not lore like I thought it was. Uh, yeah, we don't, Mark's got a clue, but he keeps having to take out the monsters. So Agnes is almost insane. We're, get, we're definitely getting close to the end of the series. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Arkham Horror 3rd Edition. We're playing Approach of Azathoth. And he's coming. Make no doubt about it. I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation.